Welcome everyone. Colorimetry is an analytical technique that allows scientists to calculate the concentration of coloured solutions. I'll go over the main components of a modern colorimeter. We'll then look at the graphical methods to determine the concentration of an unknown sample. This practical overview is for the BTEC Level 3 Applied Science Experiments, but it is also relevant to Year 2 A-Level Chemistry students. Let's get started. The colour that we observe is due to the frequencies of light that are transmitted. The other frequencies are absorbed. The wavelength of light absorbed is the complementary colour of that observed. The more concentrated a solution is, the more light that it will absorb. The diagram shows some of the main components of a colorimeter. A light source, shown on the left, emits all wavelengths of visible light. The light is focused through a lens and then split into different wavelengths using a prism. Light of the chosen wavelength travels through the cuvette. This is a small plastic or sometimes glass cuboid container filled with the sample that you are analysing. It is very important that the surfaces of the cuvette are as clean as possible. Avoid touching these surfaces. Prepare at least four standard solutions of known concentration. We will consider solutions containing copper 2 plus ions. These are blue. The colour emitter must be calibrated to give an absorbent reading of zero when distilled water is in the cuvette. The filter only allows light of a certain wavelength to pass through. The filter that you choose depends on the colour of the solution that you are analysing. Select the filter that gives the greatest absorbance value with the most concentrated solution that you are testing. Double check that distilled water gives an absorbance of zero at this wavelength. Measure the absorbance of each standard solution in turn and record your results in a table. Beer-Lambert law, sometimes referred to as Beer's law, states that the absorbance of a solution is directly proportional to concentration. This is limited to dilute solutions. A plot of concentration against absorbance should give a straight line graph through the origin. Here are some example results for the absorbance of a series of copper 2 plus standard solutions. As expected, a plot of concentration against absorbance gives a straight line graph through the origin. If a sample of Cu2 plus ions of unknown concentration were to be analysed, we could find the concentration using this plot. For example, if the unknown sample had an absorbance of 0 0.25, this would correspond to an absorbance of 0.047 moles per decimeter cubed. Thanks for watching. Please post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care.